Hello little artist, I'm Mariana Olson and today we are drawing a cute seahorse. Are you ready? Let's do this! Ok, we are going to need paper, something to color with and using markers and something to draw with. I will use a black marker that you can change for a pencil. Ok little artist, let's start this picture and it's a super cute seahorse and the first thing we are going to do is the center of the paper, we are going to go up a little and we're gonna do the eye. Let's start with an oval shape and it's a little big and we're gonna fill this with black. You can change the shape of your eye if you want to. And then we're gonna do a line to go underneath the eye. We're gonna leave a space and we're gonna do a curve right here, right next to the eye. Next thing is gonna be a line that goes down and it goes up a little and goes down. Now let's do a letter U that goes around and I want to start on this side going around and I'm going to stop right there. It's really close to the eye now. We're leaving a space right here, okay? And the last thing is going to be join this line to the letter U I just did. We're going to mark where the mouth goes with a curve and inside we're going to put a little dot for the nose. Let's continue on the top part on the hip and the first thing we're going to do is one of his hairs and we're going to do a letter U that is going upside down and we're going to close it on the bottom. Next we're going to do the horn and we're going to start with a little curve and we're going to go up with a triangle and then come back down and this is a long triangle and inside we're going to put lines. They are going diagonal and a little curvy. Okay, now let's continue doing the hairs the same way that we did first, going down. So let's mark the line that is going to help us guide and it's going to pass this line. So we're going to go down and we pass the curves in the line that we did here. About a finger space between this and this. And now we can continue doing the hair the exact same way we did. We're going to do the upside down letter use and we're going to start continuing going down and we're going to turn it a little bit every time that we go down. If you notice they're going around, kind of like turning. And let's do the last ones, the smaller. This is a little bit small. And the very last one is the smallest of all. We're going to start now with the fin and right after the hair we're going to do a line that goes out and it looks like a letter C. We stop right there and we do one and two and this one's turned a little bit and we're going to finish this with one curve. Inside we're going to put like a shape of a leaf just to make it look more or give it more texture to the fin. This line we're going to imagine the cross in behind the fin. So about here I'm going to go down and I want to do a curve and I continue going up. It's like a hook. Now let's do the tummy and it's going to go underneath the chin or underneath the mouth. We're going to go down and a curve. It's almost like a letter D and I want to pass really close to this line. And we're going to leave a space right here once that we pass. Now we're going to continue doing this line, doing a spiral. And we're going to go inside and this one is going to connect right here. The very last thing, we're going to do the tummy, doing a curve that goes down. And inside we're going to put some lines to make the texture of the tummy. So we're going to start on the bottom, doing curves, they're going up and they are a little curvy like down. And there that's it we finished this seahorse that is actually a unicorn seahorse and now my favorite part let's color! Oh, 
Okay, little artist, we are done. This is how my picture turned out and how my secrets look like. Once that you put all the colors, it pops a lot. The picture looks so much brighter. So here, you can choose the colors you want. You can even change the color of the seahorse. You can change it to red, blue, whatever you feel like your seahorse will look better. And here, because I did a unicorn seahorse, I wanted to add some rainbow colors. At the end, I add with a gray color all the edges. This is very, very light gray. And I went all around, and these make it a little bit more volume underneath the wing too. So, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss lessons step by step like this one. See you next time!